नेस्टेक फोर मेजर टाइम फ्रेम विच गिव अस फोर चॉइस ऑन एच वन यू हैव दिस फॉलिंग वेज पैटर्न ऑन वीकली यू हैव दिस बिग रिट्रेसमेंट फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वीकली टाइम फ्रेम बिकॉज स्टॉक्स आर डिफरेंट दे आर डिजाइन टू गो अप दिस वॉज द हाई ऑफ डॉट कॉम बवल दिस फोमो वॉज रियल बट दे वर अर्ली बिकॉज डेड बोम केम आफ्टर टू थाउजेंड नाइन बॉटम वेन लोबलाइजेशन बिकम टर्बो चार्ज एंड सिंस देन इट इज़ गोइंग अप एंड इफ वी कंपेयर करेक्शन ड्यूरिंग कोरोना वायरस मार्केट क्रैश डेट वॉर थर्टी परसेंट एंड एवरी वन नो आफ्टर वर्ल्ड वॉर टू करोना वायरस लॉकडाउन वॉज ओनली वीक थिंग विच क्रिएटेड फियर फॉर एवरी वन एंड नाउ दिस करेक्शन विच इज स्टार्टड फ्राम फैट क्यू टी फैट टाइट मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी इट हैज़ मेड थर्टी फोर परसेंट अट्रेसमेंट ऑल दी बिग मनी मैनेजर बिलीनियोर इन्वेस्टर लास्ट ईयर वर सेंग दे आर वेटिंग फॉर टेन परसेंट ट्वेंटी परसेंट करेक्शन एंड नाउ इट हैज मेड मोर देन थर्टी परसेंट सो दिस बिग इन्वेस्टर आर ऑलरेडी स्टार्ट बाइंग दीज नेक स्टॉक्स एंड इफ यू ड्राफ यूर ट्रेसमेंट फॉर दिस करोना वायरस बॉटम टू डिस स्टॉप then it has made 50% retracement and if this bearish trend does not stop then our first support on weekly time frame will be previous all time high the top before corona virus lockdown and if this level also breaks then next target will be this resistance zone the high of dot com bubble and this low which was made before corona virus because stocks should always go up and this cannot go straight up to that level because if bear market has been started and globalization has been ended which is major reason for this stocks going up because tech sector was the only place where all the money because of globalization was made for that it has to make retracement then new lower low can retest this low and which is only possible if globalization is really ended and we will know about this in next one or two year but it will make retracement and if you compare from this top this corona virus bottom then we have almost 60% retracement even if price retest this corona virus bottom then panic will start and this billionaire and all the policy maker will not stop and they immediately start printing money and this was the only reason the nasdaq going up so technically you can expect a retracement or if bear market in us tech sector is already started then after retracement it can make a new low but in both condition you can expect a bullish trend from this level between 50 and 61% retracement so 34% correction is a big thing and this is the what investor were waiting because many big investor miss this perfect bottom and they joined in the middle and now if we go to daily time frame then this is our bottom on 23 march 2020 
when fed ultra easy monetary policy was started and it made top on 22 november 2021 because every professional investor knew that this year 2022 that fed will increase interest rate to control inflation even inflation goes back to 2% without fed doing anything then they will have to stop this qe but this ukraine invasion in beginning of the year changed everything but in march speculation for fed rate hike again started and now we are near the bottom in july 2022 because if fed does not stop this rate hike cycle and keep raising interest rate to control inflation up to 2% then this bear market will not stop it will not even make a big correction and it will go straight up to this support level so market rumor has been started stocks are down retail trader has lost their money and now they will lose their job and which will bring deflation and what will happen in next fomc is important they will raise 50 or 75 that is the key if they raise 50 then you can expect rate cut is coming very fast now all of these investor who are buying these stocks and gold and bitcoin they think fed will start cutting interest rate in 2023 and they can announce it officially in last fomc meeting of this year and if you only focus technical then this was our first impulsive wave a or one then correction b b or wave 2 and this is next impulsive wave which can be c or 3 the next wave will decide it is 135 impulsive wave or abc corrective wave if this new high retests this level near 13000 then you can expect it is a corrective otherwise these are impulsive wave if something bad happen before next fomc then they can raise 100 basis point and which will kill all of this buyer and it will make new low and will not stop before this yellow support the previous all time high and these decision are depends in upcoming nfp and cpi numbers and if you draw fib extension as a retracement or extension tool then our 100% projection and this 382 level near 1566 then you can see price try to make a bottom but it came down when cpi goes up again because that time there was a rumor that inflation has peak so if this level breaks 11037 then next target will be this red area from 61% projection to 38 and we have this support level in this red area so if inflation does not stop and it jumps again before fomc and if they raise 100 basis point then it will retest this level in red area and if everything become normal and they raise 50 basis point 
then this is your bottom and a new high will confirm that these big investors are buying for second half of the year because now fed is raising interest rate then they will cut interest rate and before next rate hike cycle they will keep going up and before start of speculation for next rate hike cycle where this nasdaq goes will be important and if you go to h1 time frame and if you draw fib retracement from top to bottom then our 38 percent retracement is 13 225 this is our minimum retracement target and if new high come and this upper line of this wage pattern breaks then they will target this resistance level and 38 percent retracement and by the time we will have everything nfp cpi and fomc if after fomc if this resistance level breaks then our test and break of this resistance because right now you have lower low lower high which is a bearish trend and if this level breaks and new high come then you can expect a bullish trend has been started and it is all depends this fed monetary policy decision and investor greed where price will go they can make 38 percent or 50 or 61 percent retracement and they can even make 78 percent retracement and these two are our key resistance level because if this start and nasdaq goes up for next six months then you will get another chance in the middle it will go up which will confirm that somebody is buying then you can join on retracement because market psychology will not change until this high breaks before that it is bearish technically and we have this perfect wage pattern it is testing lower and upper trend line and soon it has to break out this wage pattern so for h4 time frame for intraday trader this is your next week support and this is your first resistance zone 13042 and if this level breaks then your next target will be 15 165 level